Well, I'm rarely accused of optimism, so. <laughs> so, uh, he optimistically asks, uh, what worries you at this moment in human history? <laughs> <laughs> when you look at how we as a species think about reality and how to live within it, what do you, uh, I, I, you know, you and I don't know each other well at all. I don't know, are, are, do you pay attention to things in the culture even relevant to your science? Like is, is the fact that uh, nuclear proliferation, the prospect of nuclear war, either by design or by accident, the fact that's almost not talked about at all now, and yet every moment of our lives we've been living under this same sort of Damocles, is that something that you spend time thinking about? Or no. You, no. Is that, no. Well, no, it's, it's an honest answer, if, if true, but are, are, you, are you not part of any meetings of physicists that, that worry about that? Yeah, or? you know, um, yeah, it's facetious. Uh, so, so, but the truth is, that, I mean, that the horror is that it's actually true for, right. for most of us. I mean, it's like we, we have gone to sleep on this issue. Well, I, I would say that that is a reasonable description of, of me. I mean, I'm obviously, we all are aware of these issues. I think about these issues. I, I don't, from a day-to-day -day perspective, worry about these issues, nor from a day-to-day -day perspective do I work on these right. issues. Um, and um, it could well be that we have lulled ourselves into a state of complacency by virtue of nothing, you know, catastrophic, you know, happening yesterday or the day before. Uh, I do, you know, walk around the world with an optimistic sensibility yeah. that uh, we will find ways to deal with these issues, but um, that can be a masquerade for an unfortunate complacency at the same time. Hmm. So what, what are the, if you could list the problems that you felt we needed to address, if we could, if we could get our priorities straight, what's near the top of your list in terms of? Well, there were the obvious ones that we would all, I think, put there. Uh, you know, we can rattle them off. You started with uh, nuclear proliferation, issues of uh, clean energy, issues of uh, environmental catastrophe, uh, ones, you know, that we just, you know, we were briefly touching upon, you know, when we had dinner just a couple hours ago, issues of, you know, AI, uh, which I would even frame in a, in a, in a somewhat more general um, uh, paradigm, which is, I don't think we're very good at having the intuition about exponential growth. Yeah. It's just not something that we're really good at. I mean, um, you know, everybody, this is a self-selected audience, but anybody who has never heard of, you know, the standard example where, you know, you get a penny on the first day and two pennies on the second and four on the third and so, you know, anybody who hasn't heard that before and learns that by the end of the month you've got a billion dollars plus, right. they're like, what? You know, everybody here knows that, but everybody who's not seen that before, it's very surprising. So I think the scariest things are those which have um, an exponential growth and we're not paying attention to them sufficiently early and we get whacked by the exponential uh, growth of some quality of the world that uh, needs our attention and we didn't give it attention early enough in the process. Mm. Uh, and I think, um, you know, AI is a possibility along those lines, you right. know. So you, um, you take the notion of a, an intelligence explosion or a, a, some kind of singularity, some kind of breakaway of AI, uh, you take that seriously? You know, I, I would say I take it seriously. It's not something that I, that I fear. I don't deeply fear it. And again, I question my own self about that. Should I be fearing it more? And if I ask myself why I don't, it's because I think fundamentally, fundamentally I think that the people who are responsible for the innovation that, for instance, may yield you know, an intelligence that at some point may far outstrip us. Right. It feels to me that the people leading the charge on that are fundamentally good people. Right. I know these people. Some of the, you know, I just feel that they're good people and that ultimately they will pay attention to the safety issues that need to be thought through. Now, this you is could on say their, that... This is on their 12th Red Bull? It, it could be. <laughs> it could be, you know. Um, and, and, uh, and, you know, we have examples in the past where we thought doomsday was upon us, you know, you know, nuclear weapons. You know, I mean, there, there are moments where it looked like we were at the precipice and we have 
found a way to survive, and I guess that has given me an optimistic sensibility. Uh, it's been challenged. You know, November 8, 2016, it was challenged. It continues yeah. to be challenged, you know. Uh, but, but I think fundamentally I'm still in the same place. Right. Well, you're, you're a New Yorker. You'll be fine, right? Yeah, uh, yeah well, so I will not take the, uh, the orange bait there. Uh, 